app for, for Android. Cool mobile app that you can use to stream, to live stream on YouTube, Twitch, Facebook, and other platforms as well. This is a sh this is just a short tutorial on the simplest way that you can use this app to start streaming, recording your screen, the screen of your Android phone. I also will be doing future other tutorials on different other aspects of this app about the camera, about the settings and more. But this will be a simple one. Let me just change one thing here. Okay. So I'm already streaming now unlisted. And as you can see, this is the interface. I will tell you that in the beginning, when you first open the app, you will be prompted to you will be prompted to to log in with your YouTube account, Facebook, or other platform. You will log in. And uh, then you will be asked to check for camera feed or screen recording. You will choose screen recording for this tutorial, for this part that I'm presenting here on this Android app. Streamlabs, OBS, Streamlabs app. So you have these options here. You see in the upper left corner. You have this button, you tap on it, and here is Editor, Events, Body Mode, LAN, Alert Profiles, Camera Enhance, Stream Info, Settings, Remote Control, Cloud Protection. Main things that I will talk about is the Editor and the Stream Info button. So first of all, the Editor. From the Editor, you will choose... You already have chosen the screen, and here it is. This is the screen widget. I, I've hidden it from preview, it's only showing on stream, so you can see what I'm doing. And the upper right button, you have this menu and this plus icon here, you tap on this plus icon. And you can see... Here you can see many things you can add. Add widget, add text, add image, add camera, add screen. So for this, I'm not gonna get too much into these. Maybe in future videos, don't forget to leave me any comments on what aspects would you like me to cover, to explain, to show. What things that you would like to understand better how to work with, how to use. I'm gonna add an image for now, just for this example of this tutorial. Okay, this is it, I'm choosing uh, this one doesn't matter, of course. And uh, here it is. I can move it anywhere on the screen. As you can see, here it is. And these three dots give me some options showing on stream, showing on preview. If okay. If I'm not showing it on preview, I'm curious how this will show up on the end product. And now showing on stream doesn't do much. So I think showing on preview, it, sh it should be on preview. So you can guys, you, you guys can could see it. Okay, this, this should work. Yep, this is it, guys. This, these are the settings. It seems like it's working. So, you set up your screen. Also, on this interface, you can see here this uh, bottom left, this profile image. It's front camera, back camera. If you use your camera feed, mic on. 
this is a exclamation point it's about upgrading prime for the full streamlabs experience not now and this comment section on off you can see it here okay so i've already clicked on the center button to start my stream but you will have a red button and if you tap on it your live stream will start but it will be unlisted as you can see here in the upper left corner it says unlisted so you will have to go to this upper left button for the settings and tap on stream info on the stream info you have to uh, you can edit these details on title description and which people can watch it's automatically default set up for with link that means unlisted video your live stream is now not public is only visible to those who have the link unlisted you can set it to only me private or anyone you tap on anyone and that will be made public and that's about it guys you set the public anyone and then you are live streaming on the internet this was it guys leave me a like subscribe don't forget to leave me your comments on what aspect of this app streamlabs mobile app you would like me to to cover and to explain in future videos what things did not work for you i also have to mention that i had some errors with this trying to make this tutorial sometimes after you already have a setup you close it then you when you get back on it if you don't delete all the screen widgets that you've added sometimes if you just try to start a new stream with those same settings you have made it won't work it would just be a static image only the sound will work but the image will be only one image of black screen so i try to clear the cache and delete all my widgets on the screen from that from this editor i go here i tap on them i tap on the three dots and i tap on this recycle and i deleted it and that's the way i made it so, so i can i deleted all of them and then i've added them again from scratch and then started my screen i i've only added the screen recording from there and then i started the stream then edited it to public and that's the way it works also the mic has some problems if you're only using the mic on your phone i don't know if it's just my phone but usually the phones are have pretty good mics but this app seems to record pretty bad sound as you can probably observe in this video as well because i'm only using my mobile to record and to, to record my audio as well you have three settings for audio in the settings tab it's a camcorder default and microphone you might want to play with those try default or microphone and see how it goes how your sound is you can just test it on unlisted or private streams so you can afterwards see how how it is okay guys this was it hope you liked it don't forget to leave me comments ideas questions errors see you later see you in the next videos check out my description of this video because i will be updating it as soon as i post new video tutorials on this app cheers